Hi. Well, you're probably sitting there, if you've seen my last video, you're probably thinking, hey, this guy never changes clothes. Well, hey, um, <laughs> it's five minutes after the last video I shot. I shot a video about how great this DGT Centaur chessboard is. And um, I'm just going to go on. I wanted to show how to alter pieces to play on this board that are your own pieces or any other pieces, some kind of vintage pieces that maybe you might want, to, might want to play with, you could use them on this board. Uh, because these are not chipped, and I'm not, these are, I'm talking about this DGT Centaur chessboard, um, not any other DGT board, any other computerized chessboard. I'm speaking of this one alone, so if you alter pieces and they don't work on other boards, don't blame me. I'm talking about this board and this board alone. Okay. So, we are going to start by saying there are other videos out there showing you how to alter pieces to use on this chessboard. And you can use that some of those methods that they've shown you, uh, that they show you. I'm going to show you something I used. There's a method out there where they use uh, aluminum foil and glue and a utility knife. I tried that method and it worked pretty well. Uh, it took me quite a long time to do a whole set. I did uh, just this rather inexpensive wooden set. Uh, I don't. I'm, it came with a tournament board that I got. It was a tournament set. It's tournament weight. It's a really nice piece. I love it. But it's not. It's nothing expensive or fancy. But it's a great piece to play with. I find it pretty attractive. So I love the color. Anyway, this is how I altered it um, with the aluminum foil. Now, you you just I used liquid nails as the glue and uh, I used regular aluminum foil and um, just a regular roll and I tore them up into small pieces and um, there's, like I said there's a whole video out there on how to do it and that's pretty much what I did. You just glue it on there, you, you, glue, you slap the glue on, on, on here, you slap the aluminum foil on or you just stick this down on the aluminum foil, you, you let that kind of dry a little bit and then you get your utility knife. You cut around it, cut around the edges, just basically showing you, telling you how it was done. And then you got this is all covered with aluminum foil. Well, you can see also there's a little sticker on there. I don't know if you see that or not. But after I did all that work, it took me about two hours probably. It took me about an hour per set to do that. And uh, so I don't really recommend that, that method. Uh, i tell you what I do recommend is a cheap roll of these stickers you get a thousand of these for let me check right now I'll tell you exactly what you, what, what you get them for on Amazon uh, $5.99 for a thousand of these and there's actually only two more rolls in stock so I'm sorry to say that I tried to get this out earlier uh, I know when the last time I looked there was like 15 or something in stock uh, these are great I was going to tell you they work I'm going to show you that they work. I'm going to prove it to you. Uh, also, another kind of sticker you could use. I had these. I got these first. They were $15 or something to that. Like $13 to $15, something like that. And they're, they're really heavy aluminum. They're thicker. They're stickers. Uh, they stick well, but uh, they don't stick any better than those. Uh, and these were 50 of them for, like, like I said, right around $13 to $15. So, they work, but I don't recommend these because I believe these are a much better bargain. You could do multiple sets and they work. There you go, I'll prove it to you. Let's turn on the board. Let's let it fire up. I'll show you that they work and how simple they are to put on. All you do is get the sticker um, and stick it on the bottom. I'll just do another one for you. I'll do one over again. Uh, I'll just stick an extra sticker on well, actually, I don't even have to do that. You can see how simple it was. I took the sticker, <laughs> I peeled it off, and I stuck it on there real good, right in the center. Definitely wanted it in the center, and I just kind of made sure it was stuck on there good. This is a uh, tournament piece. This is triple weighted, and it's uh, you know it's more of a, it's, I don't even know if it's ivory. It looks like an uh, off white, but it is ivory, considered ivory. So uh, we'll, we'll show you right now. I'll show you right now that it works. Okay, you should be able to 
<laughs> they used to do slide these other pieces. They do like the heavier ones. Uh, so let me take this queen off. I mean, it doesn't bother me. Believe me, that doesn't affect me. I don't mind. It tells me it moved. I have to, I'll move it right back. It's not a big deal. So, okay. That's blinking. Tells me the queen is not there. This is a totally different queen. All I did was throw that sticker on there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's hope it works. And it did. And it registered it. It sees it. There's no question marks. Uh, it's basically ready to go. So, I mean, I can I can make a move. It's just in analysis mode. So, um, I, let me just show you. I definitely will recognize it. Okay, I made a pawn move. Let me just make this pawn move. Okay, and now let me just show you uh, uh, that the king... Uh, oh, that's the queen. Well, actually, okay. See, it doesn't know. Uh, that proves that that doesn't know. Uh, so, anyway. Let me just move that real quick. Uh, and uh, I'll just move it uh, like a queen. I'll move it all the way up to here. Registered it. It says queen. Uh, queen to d3. So... It knew that it was a queen, uh, <laughs> supposed to be a queen, uh, and that's, I put it back there, and it just registers that uh, that move was taken back. And that's another nice thing, when you're playing in this analysis mode, and I think, and I believe the computer mode, it's that simple to take a move back. I just made that move, I left it there, it showed that the move was made, and I moved it back, and it took it away. So. If, if you make a blunder and you're like, oh shoot, uh, I didn't want to make that move, and you want to take it back, if you're in that kind of mood and you want to take it back, you're still learning, and you want to, you know, you're, you're, you're teaching yourself something new, uh, you take that back. Anyway, that works. And let's put the queen back on there. Put the pawn back. Everything, watch, I can put everything back. Clear board again. It's ready to go. Love it. Love it. Love it. So let's just take. I want to do it on this side so you can see it better. I think. Let me take the king off. Here's one I did with aluminum foil. I threw the sticker on there anyway, but I ha I don't know if I have any with just aluminum foil anymore. I don't. So I have a sticker on there. That's just okay. The wooden one works great. La 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 la. Ba -da 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 Move that one up there, and you will see. I can move this king one space. It'll, now see, it knows it's a king. All right. Now if I watch, if I if I move it back, it takes back the move. And I want to show you if I try to move it two spaces, it's going to tell me that that's illegal. Okay. There you go. It knows it's a king. Now it's not chipped, but it recognized it from the setup, and it's giving me question marks over there on the board on the readout. I put it back. There's no problem. See, I bumped that and it moved a little bit. The, the light came on. So, yeah, you bump something off there a little bit. Uh, it'll bring up question marks and the light will come on. And it tells you what's, you know, it shows you what's wrong. It shows you what you got to do. So, you put that back and everything's okay. So, I'll put everything back again. Board's clear. Remove that. Tells you it's missing. Put this one back. There you go. So uh, that's the basic um, principle behind altering pieces. Here's just one more. Uh, this is a, a, a kind of a, an older set that I have. Oh, it is an older set, and I put two stickers on it to make sure that it covered it. This bottom was kind of garbagey. The they cut the felt is is cut kind of crappy. Not a real high-end piece. That's why I altered it. But I do like them, and it's something different. Uh, it's a little large for this board. And let's make sure it's, I'll let you know that there you go. It's something not there. And that's the king, and <laughs> he's much larger than the other pieces. That's why I really don't use this on here much. But um, it is fun once in a while. It just changes. You change the pace, you know. And it and it's great to use this board. So that was just one other example. I saw it sitting there, and I. I forgot about it uh, so oh, and I also uh, one more thing I do have uh, these Druk pieces I believe Druk is the way it's pronounced they are uh, they are triple weighted the bottom is really large I mean this is the piece the original piece this is the Druk piece um, you can see the difference in size there I uh, I was gonna alter it and I thought you know what 
No, these pieces are just too nice. So uh, these are beautiful pieces. I love the Druid pieces. So obviously I did not alter them. They're perfectly cut. It's perfect felt. Everything on these is crisp and clean. Um, I'm not not gonna say these aren't, but they. I mean, like there's. I mean, these are beautiful pieces, but these. You know, there's really not a comparison. Um, so I left these alone, and. Um, and, and they will stay that way. <laughs> so, but yeah, you, you're not going to want to alter all your pieces, of course, because you know, there's uh, some that you just want to keep the, the way they are. Anyway, that's how it's done. It's real simple. Uh, you can do your whole set with those stickers real quickly. Uh, I did, I did my set. Oh, and if you have to, some of these, uh, some of the stickers are a little bit smaller on the ponds. Uh, the small, the bottoms are a little bit smaller than these stickers. And uh, all you have to do is. Uh, put your uh, put your sticker down, put your put your pawn on it, and uh, all you need to do is you get your utility knife and cut off the excess around that. Just go right around it, set it around the right, right against the the pawn and and the and the, the uh, sticker. Take it right around it. Just keep cutting right around, and it'll be perfect. You'll have a perfect piece, and it it just takes a second, a couple of seconds. So. That's how you do it. I hope that helps and um, enjoy. I'm going to go drink some water because these two videos in a row have made me really dry. Enjoy your holiday and if you get this board, have a great time with it and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, send, send me comments. I'd like to know what you think uh, if you get the board. If you really like it and if you don't like it, just, just tell me. I want to know. I'm curious. Now I'm going to leave it on because I'm going to play because I love this board. So have a great holiday and I'll talk to you again later. I'll get another another video out soon. Um, I got some RC cars I want to show you and uh, they're really cool and I got those videos coming up. So stay tuned. I got some other videos and uh, we're going to uh, hopefully like right after Christmas I'll get those out. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and take care everyone. Thank you.